Hi friends, we will discuss about gas chromatography. Content, first we will see introduction, instrumentation of GC, theory of gas chromatography, column efficiency parameters, derivatization methods used in GC, Example of GC applications in pharmaceutical analysis. Gas chromatography. Separation of gases and volatile substances. Simple and efficient in regard to separation. GC consists of GSC and GLC. Here GSC means gas solid chromatography, GLC means gas liquid chromatography, gas MP, solid liquid SP, GSC not used because of limited number of SP, GSC principle is adsorption glc principle is partition gas chromatography is a widely used technique for separation and analysis of gases and volatile substances which are difficult to separate and analyze in performing gas chromatographic separation the sample is vaporized and injected onto the head of a chromatography column. Illusion is brought about by the flow of an inert gaseous mobile phase. In GC, gas as a moving phase is passed through a column containing solid adsorbent or liquid adsorbent Thus, adsorption or partition is possible. Based on stationary phase used in column, GC is of two types. Gas solid chromatography means GSC. Gas liquid chromatography, in short, we will say GLC and GSC also. First, we will see GSC. In GSC, mobile phase is gas and stationary phase is solid. In GSC, when a carrier gas containing analytes is passed through a column containing solid stationary phase, the analytes gets adsorbed onto the solid stationary phase and the separation is due to differences in their adsorptive behavior. GLC Mobile phase gas, stationary phase liquid. In GLC, when a carrier gas containing analytes is passed through a column containing liquid stationary phase, the analytes get disturbed themselves between the liquid stationary phase and the carrier gas phase according to their partition coefficient. Then, criteria for compounds to be analyzed by GC volatility thermostability the analyte should have a miserable vapor pressure at the temperature employed advantages of gas chromatography it is a simple and inexpensive method generally efficient with regard to separation the technique has a very high resolution power, small sample is needed, micro LS, sensitivity of detection is very high, PVB or picograms, the speed of analysis is fast, fast, qualitative and quantitative analysis at a time is possible, they are produced under each peak is proportional to that concentration. 
how a gas chromatography machine works first a vaporized sample is injected onto the chromatographic column second the sample moves through the column third the components are recorded as a sequence of a peaks as they leave the column deals with both the stationary phase and the mobile phase mobile inert gas used as a carrier stationary liquid coated on a solid or a solid within a column chromatographic separation in the mobile phase components of the sample are uniquely drawn to the stationary phase and thus enter this phase at different times the parts of the sample are separated within the column compounds used at the stationary phase reach the detector at unique times and produce a series of peaks along a time sequence the peaks can then be read and analyzed by a forensic scientist to determine the exact components of the mixture retention time is determined by each component reaching the detector at characteristic time thank you